We have a uh, um, overall increase in cases uh, recently in Missouri. Our daily average um, used to be lately in the 400 range, and now we are more in the 500 range. And uh, there were some days when we were even under 300 cases a day. So we're certainly seeing increase. How much of this is exactly Delta variant, which is used to be called India variant? It is uh, hard to say because the, the only way you can identify variant virus is, do, is to do sequencing of the uh, clinical samples. There is no state in the country or there is no country in the world that are sequence that can do sequencing on every uh, possible sample. So, so what we do, we participate <clears throat> in a national surveillance uh, by uh, so-called genomic surveillance through CDC. We also do surveillance uh, in Missouri in collaboration with uh, University of Missouri. Uh, DHSS and University of Missouri, and we also do wastewater surveillance, uh, which is uh, one of the, the the better programs in the entire country that we have here. So, a combination of all these data sources allows us to have some kind of a uh, idea of what's happening with uh, Delta virus in Missouri. Through uh, CDC surveillance, uh, which is surveillance of uh, available blood samples through the commercial labs, uh, and it is reported by region and it is reported by state. <clears throat> According to most recent uh, re uh, report, uh, Missouri's proportion of Delta variant among all variants is, uh, is um, uh, about 47%. And, but that this is the entire region seven, which includes Missouri, Nebraska, Iowa, and, and uh, Kansas. And uh, uh, interestingly, uh, our neighboring region, region eight, such as uh, state Colorado and neighboring states, they actually uh, quickly catching up with us and have pretty much the same proportion as well. And then people who pay attention to CDC data they will see data by state. According to that number, Missouri has the highest proportion at 29%. But uh, this number is based on a so-called unweighted statistics. Unlike the regional data, which is statistically manipulated to make sure that the estimate is um, uh, statistically equally correct for everyone, this one is not statistically corrected, and also it's based on different sample sizes, and then the smaller the sample, the less accurate is the estimate. And out of um, 30 or so states who have enough even data to have such an estimate, and we are one of those states, for example, our neighbors don't even have enough data to, to have an estimate by state, uh, So, which means we don't know what the percentage is in our neighboring states. Our sample is the smallest out of those uh, 30 states, which makes this number even, uh, even less accurate. So I'm not minimizing a uh, number in Missouri, but uh, because statistics is not strong, this number may change and it's not highly accurate as it is right now, but we certainly certainly experiencing rise in uh, uh, Delta virus in Missouri. Regarding our own surveillance, um, <clears throat> we do limited sequencing of uh, samples all across Missouri. And ironically, actually, we couldn't do as much sequencing lately because hospitals were not simply having enough patients to provide us with uh, uh, samples that need a certain criteria for sequencing. And uh, based on that limiting sequencing, what I can say that share of Delta virus every week we do sequencing is increasing. And uh, um, it, is, it is probably true reflection of increasing in the variant, but also I have to say that because we see more cases in certain parts of Missouri, we simply sample more from those parts of Missouri. So you cannot really say that this is a random samples, 
That's why this number uh, of the proportion of uh, the Delta virus increasing in Missouri is uh, um, it's uh, hard to say that it is really accurate, but it, what is accurate that there is no doubt that Delta virus is increasing in Missouri. Delta variant is especially concerning that compared to other viruses that emerged before, it seems to be more transmissible. If you remember, the virus that came to the United States from China was already more transmissible than the original virus in, in Wuhan. And then UK variant came along, which was more transmissible than the variants we had before. And now this one comes along, and this one is even more transmissible, about 60%, depending on the estimate, let's say 60% more transmissible than the UK variant. So it is, if you go to back to original Chinese virus, that would be a lot more transmissible than what, what was the original virus, even the original virus that started in the United States. So that's why it is concerning. And it is also uh, uh, tends to evade vaccine better, vaccine protection better than, than previous variants, uh, such as UK, for example. And, and that is especially concerning. Uh, uh, besides, it, it showed that uh, it, it tends to have more severe disease. And uh, recent data from uh, United Kingdom showed that uh, the risk of hospitalization once you get this infection with this uh, Delta variant uh, doubles compared to the UK variant, uh, which was dominant before. And uh, in United Kingdom right now, 90% plus of all new COVID cases are due to Delta variant. And this, this is uh, compared to CDC's estimate of about 20% of new cases of, uh, U, uh, of Delta virus uh, among all variant viruses in the United States. So uh, that uh, you can only imagine uh, how many more cases we may have if uh, when, if uh, probably not if, but when uh, Delta virus virus becomes uh, um, a dominant in the uh, United States as well. We are seeing a, a slowdown in our vaccination rates in Missouri. Unfortunately, in uh, if we look at numbers back in uh, March and April, we were vaccinating 50,000 people plus a day. And now it's slowed down to in June, we are looking at about roughly 10,000 people a day. So uh, Missouri overall, we were doing uh, average with our vaccination rates, even above average, but because in the slowdown in demand of, uh, for vaccine, we now fell uh, and we are now in a, a lower quantile among all states uh, in vaccination rates. And that is concerning because uh, this new emerging variant is highly transmissible and the primary target are, is uh, unvaccinated people. Even though I mentioned previously that this virus has tendency to better evade uh, vaccine protection, but still uh, more very recent data from United Kingdom shows that uh, when it comes, for example, to mRNA vaccines such as uh, Pfizer, it is still nearly 90% effective against symptomatic disease and 96% effective against hospitalization. So uh, no matter what virus tries to do, still our vaccines are still capable to handle the virus and they still offer the best protection, not, against, uh, uh, not, uh, again, not only against the symptomatic disease, but also against uh, hospitalization and, and uh, severe disease. So increasing vaccination rates, especially in, in the parts of Missouri that are lagging behind other parts of Missouri, it is very important to have a control over the growth of this variant infection in the state.